We are in lesson 281. We're going to be working with nonsense words in this lesson. And we're going to review vowel groups 1, 2, 3, and 4. I will present words to you, and then you will mark those words. Let's review the four vowel groups. Vowel group 1, one vowel in a word followed by a consonant, the vowel is short. Vowel group 2, one vowel in a word at the end of the word, the vowel is long. Vowel group 3, silent E at the end of the word, the first vowel in the word is long. Vowel group 4, two vowels come together, form a team, the first vowel is long, the second vowel is silent. We have nine rows of words. We'll begin with row one. Please mark this word on your paper, and when you have done that, advance the screen to see if you've marked the word correctly. This word is crank, crank. Now, N is followed by the K. When N is followed by the K sound, it doesn't have to be a K letter. It can be other things as well. But when N is followed by the K sound, the N will represent its second sound, uh. The second sound for N is the same sound as the team NG. We have a vowel group one word here because we have one vowel in the word followed by a consonant. Remember, the vowel groups are here in order to indicate to you whether a vowel will be long or short. All right, the next word. Mark the word. Jaced, jaced. Here we have a silent E at the end of the word. So we underline the E and we put a three under the A, which represents its long sound. We put the vowel group number under the vowel that represents a sound in the word. We never put numbers under consonants. Maint, maint. AI is a vowel group four team, meaning the two vowels A and I join together, form a team. We underline A and I to indicate it's a team. We place a four under the AI team. The first vowel here will represent its long sound. The second vowel is silent. A, maint. Queet, queet. We underline the E at the end of the word to indicate it's silent. We put a three under the first E in the word to indicate it's going to represent its long sound because of the silent E, which serves as a signal that the first vowel will say its name. We underline QU. QU is a consonant team representing the sounds K and W combined. Queet. Chonk. Chonk. Here again, N is followed by the sound K in the word, so we know N will represent its second sound. That is why we put two lines under the N here. We also underline CH. It is a consonant team. We never put numbers under consonant teams. Row two. Qual. Qual. Bith, bith. Here we have a silent E causing the I to represent its long sound in this word. Even though there's a consonant team between the I and the E, it doesn't matter if it's a consonant or a consonant team. The E will still serve as a signal that the first vowel in the word will say its name. Cleek. Cleek. Grimp. Grimp. Tro. Tro. Here we have our first vowel group two word in this exercise. When you have one vowel at the end of the word, the vowel will represent its long sound. Row three.
Bletch, Bletch. We can only use a TCH team when there's a short vowel directly in front of it, as there is in this word. Won, won. Bloach, bloach. Chack, chack. We can only use CK in a word when there's a short vowel directly in front of it, just like TCH. Smike, smike. Row four. Creech, creech. You notice here we use CH at the end of the word to represent the sound ch because we don't have a short vowel directly in front of it. We have the long E sound. Twone, twone. Clunch, clunch. Scanned, scanned. Scray, scray. Row five. Brinch, brinch. Heast, heast. So notice here we have a silent E at the end of the word, but between the silent E and the first E in the word, we have not one consonant, but two consonants. But even though it's two consonants, nevertheless, the first E still represents its long sound according to vowel group three. Prompt, prompt. Thone, thone. Shay, shay. Here again, vowel group two, one vowel in the word. It comes as the last letter in the word. The vowel will represent its long sound. Row six. Clean, clean. Trone, trone. Veen, veen. Splash, splash. Clyth. Clyth, row seven. Flay, flay. Strock, strock. Cranch, cranch. Freen, freen. Scrent, scrent. Row eight. Quev, quev. Oaks, oaks. Spape, spape. Muve, muve. Scrape, 
Swinch. Swinch. Our final row nine. Frond. Frond. Smick. Smick. Squip. Squip. Tways. Tways. And our final word. Sloke. Sloke. This completes the presentation of words from Lesson 281.